And every new alcohol label requires approval from the feds, but the offices that handle that process are currently part of government shutdown. The TTB, or Tobacco Tax and Trade Bureau, approves labeling and grants licensing for retail sales in tasting rooms. So the TTB is the very first piece of paperwork that we have to get. We have to get the feds to sign off on us being okay to uh, produce and sell alcohol there, and then the state, and then the local governments. The Santa Cruz Cider Company has been producing hard cider from Pajaro Valley source apples for the past five years. The production has been out of the Santa Cruz warehouse located on the west side. Plans to expand and open a retail tasting room are now in limbo, and they're paying rent for this property in Watsonville until the shutdown ends. Now, the rent isn't terrible in Watsonville, it's nice. So we have $1,500 a month that we're paying for a space that we can't use. Um, and then just, we were hoping to be open there with a tasting room bringing in money, you know, by summertime. Teresa Tomei is the director of the Small Business Development Center at Cabrillo College. She says businesses that have applied for SBA loans are on hold. And small businesses that surround federal installations, especially in Monterey County, will also feel the pinch. Imagine, well, I'm not going to go to lunch today because I'm not getting a paycheck, so I don't have as much money to spend. That's going to have a larger impact on small businesses than people really think about. Community Bridges has 22,000 clients. The Social Services Agency depends on federal money for its food service, child programs, and lift line rides. It wants to assure clients they are not impacted by this partial shutdown. Everyone should be more than okay feeling like they can come into WIC, get services, get access to food, and be able to move on their daily uh, routine. But for the family-run Santa Cruz Cider Company, they can only hope the partial federal shutdown ends sooner rather than later. Now this is pushing it towards later in the year. Of course, depending when the government opens, if it's months, we're looking at several months of paying on a space that we can't make money at. And right now, the Tax and Trade Bureau is considered non-essential within the federal government. Its website even greets visitors with appropriations lapse and limited access. Erin? All right, Phil, thank you. We also spoke to a local winemaker that plans to open a new tasting room in Aptos Village, but the TTB cannot review the application for his permit, so he continues to pay rent on an empty space as well. 